Important decisions that could change Springfield residents' daily lives are being made tomorrow. Francis Lynn is in studio with us to talk to us about that and a couple of items that will be on tomorrow's city council agenda. Francis. Good evening, Jesse. So the big one is the mask ordinance mandating everyone to wear a mask while in public. The effective date for the mask ordinance would be on July 16th. That could change depending on what is decided tomorrow night. Masking face covering option will be an additional tool that we can deploy uh, in our community to slow the spread while we continue to um, reopen our, our economy. The addition of the face uh, covering requirement will help us from having to step backwards and have to close down the economy more. Katie Towns with the health department and Cora Scott with the city of Springfield says masking is an effort to slow the spread of COVID-19. Places across the country where um, masking has been required, they've seen their case counts um, go from r a rising trend to then declining. Just like seat belts, um, some argue that masks are uncomfortable. However, there is no doubt that both can save lives. Towns explains how masks work in a community. Masking is really a mechanism to uh, protect others. So when I wear a mask, I'm protecting you. All of the things that we're recommending really come from um, a fact-based, tested approach. This is an opportunity for our entire community to embrace the power we all have individually to help prevent needless suffering and death. And it's a simple act of putting on a mask. Scott tells me what the masking rule would be. It's to require people to wear these face coverings when they're in um, spaces where there's other people, when, when you're in public areas. Um, if you're not in a public area, you won't be required to wear these. And explains how the rule will be enforced if the ordinance passes. We're hoping that people see it as just the right thing to do. You're not going to see police officers necessarily arresting people on the street for not wearing a mask, but we do have penalties in place that you can get ticketed. It could be a $100 fine. And another item on the agenda, the health department is seeking approval to use their fund balance to cover the cost of bringing additional staff on board. We will be pursuing uh, hiring a, an additional 37 people to equip us to handle this response. We need additional capacity to help us with um, those interviews and that process by which we contact everybody that has been exposed and then put them into um, a situation where we're asking them to quarantine and resist exposing other individuals. There are also Facebook groups that have made plans to protest tomorrow's vote on the masking ordinance. We will be following up on the city's decision tomorrow. That we will, Francis. Thank you. But before the city makes their decision, they will be listening to public comments, and that could take a while. Here's why. There are 102 speakers that have signed up for the meeting tomorrow night. 84 of those people will speak on the masking topic alone. 29 of those are in support of a masking order, 55 in opposition, and there are 18 people there for other topics. Now, those commenting on masking will be given three minutes each to do so. And if you want to see some other interesting statistics on how many people submitted comment forms and left voicemails for the city, we have all of those numbers on our website as well, ozarksfirst.com.